Okay, so we follow the yellow brick road to the big scary wizard. We thought he was going to help us. Well, he looks pretty darn scary here, but please ignore the man behind the curtain. What curtain? Well, I'm about to show you. Let's make a little curtain right about, right about here. Oops, not there. Right about there. Now, does this problem look as intimidating as it did before? It's not so scary if you just, well, ignore it. This time we're ignoring the man behind the curtain, but uh, really, you wouldn't do that. You would quite, quite frankly do the opposite. But in the meantime, let's ignore the man behind the curtain and you'll see what I mean. So, this is as easy as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Let's get it. Please excuse my dear goes together. Aunt Sally goes together. See, my dear, so please is parentheses, E is for exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract in this order. But the my dear goes together, and from left to right, you don't always multiply first, sometimes you divide first. Same thing here, add, subtract. You don't always add first, sometimes you subtract first, whichever comes first. So let's take a look. First, we have parentheses. Do we have parentheses in our, our let's call it, let's say call it an equation, our expression? It's this expression because there's no equal sign. I have to remind myself of, of the math rules indeed. So what's inside the parentheses is 9 minus 5. Oh, that's easy enough. So that's the first box. 9 minus 5 is, drum roll please, 4. Yay! So that's the first box. I'll put a box around that so you know that's what goes in the first box. But let's rewrite everything else. And I'll rewrite it in red just so we know. We still have a 2 here and we have a times 3. So what comes next? Well, I don't have any more parentheses. Exponents are next. And we do have an exponent. Really, exponents right here. This 4 to raise to the 2 is, it's really repeated multiplication. So we got a big base, big base, big base. The base is four. And our little exponent, that little cute exponent, so cute up here, is a two. So I'm gonna put that two right here. And what that two is saying, hey, I'm gonna make two copies of you four. So there's gonna be two fours. <laughs> is that confusing? It probably is. So we're, basically we just put the base down twice. Two, that means we put the four down twice and it's repeated multiplication there's the fancy little dot for multiplication it used to look like like an x but we're not doing the x anymore because we're like sixth graders and we're getting into algebra and all that fun stuff four times four is 16. so what we're saying is four raised to the second power is 16. so our exponent is 16. that's the second box but we still have to multiply by three and that's the only thing that's left so we don't have to worry about competing with addition, subtraction, or any other kind of operation. And 16 times 3, wow, why do they give us such a big one? I want to do it. Let's see. Hopefully I'm doing this right, because if I'm not, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, 24, all right, 24. Put the 2 up here. 3 times 1 is 3, plus this 2 is 5. So I put the, that 5 goes down here. 54? Let's hope this is right. Help me out, IXL. Please don't make me look foolish. And let's see. Now we reveal the man behind the curtain. Or it could be the woman behind the curtain. Or just the wizard. Whoever the wizard may be behind the curtain. <laughs> so this is where I put my 4. See, the first box of 4. The next box is 16. And the last box should be 54. I got my fingers crossed, holding my breath. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I did 48. Well, <laughs> Mr. Hoffman did a calculation error, and this happens. See, I got the four right. Well, let's point this out. Why am I going to hide this mistake? Teachers make mistakes too. It happens. We all do. Uh, most people hide it, though. I was going to hide it, but <laughs> well, i got to show you that it happens. So I got the four right. I got the 16 right, but what did I do wrong? Can you find my mistake? Yeah, 16 times 3 is not 54. Uh, it was an arithmetic error. I did 6 times 3 as 24, and it's 18. This is what happens when you make 
videos all day long and now it's four o'clock <laughs> okay i get excuses no more excuses let's do another one and get it right okay next clear all drawings okay i got it i'll be more careful next time i won't make a silly mistake be more careful okay we got this let's do the man behind the curtain or a woman or just say the wizard behind the curtain ignore the wizard behind the curtain wait a minute the wizard's the one not out in front so it would be somebody other than a wizard, perhaps? Just so some average, everyday, uh, non-magical person, perhaps? But is well, we're all magical, so I digress. We're six minutes into this video, and I haven't taught you properly how to do anything. What a shame. All right. Uh, curtain time. Let's make the curtain dark black. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Then we're going to write down... PEMDAS, nice and thick like, so it'll be imprinted in your brain, P, E, just remember, please excuse Mr. Hoffman for not, actually my dear Aunt Sally, for not being careful when he does his arithmetic, his multiplication, his basic facts, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, from left to right, from left to right, whichever comes first. Okay, are there parentheses? Yes, okay. I'm so scared now because I feel like I'm making a mistake again. Three plus four, I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. It's seven. That's going to be our first box. We still have this little two up here, and we still have times two. Okay, so I better thin this line out. So now we can do the 7 raised to the 2, which looks like this. I'll do my big base in blue. Blue. 7. Oh, come on. We can do better than that. Oh, there we go. Big base in the, the cute little exponent up there in green. Right here. This time it's also a 2. It's not always going to be a 2, so just be careful with that. So we're going to make two copies of the 7. Two copies of that big old base, seven, seven, and it's going to be multiplication. Ah, I know this basic fact, 49. I got that one down. So the next box is 49. But we still have this times two over here. Okay, and this is where I made a mistake last time. I'm going to be careful. Don't make it again. It's 49 times... I'm still color coding here. Why not, right? Two. Okay, now I know this one. It's 18. Nine times two is 18. So I'll put in the eight down here. See? I look like I'm even like drawing it out like I'm doing a football play for you. The one goes here. <laughs> That's pretty much how I do, isn't it? Like football plays. Which, which, hut, hut, hike. I do the hikes and everything. Okay, now I'm doing two times four is eight. Plus this one here is 9, so I put the 9 here. I'm so scared, I'm going to try it again. And it's also kind of messy. So maybe if I do this again right over here, way over to the right of your screen. 49 times 2. Remember, 9 times 2 is 18. So the 8 goes here. The 1 goes up here, the cute little 1. Now I do 2 times 4 which is 8, then I do 8 plus 1, the one that was up there, which is 9. Did I get the same thing? 98. I'm feeling pretty good about this. So not, 49 times 2 is 98. That's our last box. We should have three boxes. Is that what we have in here? First box, 7. Next box, 49. Last box. No silly mistakes. My am blown. This is the same thing. So let's see if we can jump up a level. Jump a level. Hmm. Okay. If you get up to this level, it's around 39. Hut, hut, hike and stuff. Should be the same principle of the matter. Please excuse my dear. Aunt Sally, 
I got a feeling they're going to like change the order on some of these things. Like normally you would multiply first, but they're gonna trick you. They're gonna try to get you to multiply first when you really need to divide first. They're gonna try to get you to add first when you really need to subtract first, but we'll see. Okay. Magic curtain, where are you? Boom. Okay. Right, let's make this bigger. Can we make this bigger? Is this really kind of tiny for me, Mr. Old Man with eyes that I can't see out of one eye and I'm blind in the other? Oh, that's better. Okay. What's first? Any parentheses? Ah, no parentheses this time. Any exponents? Yeah. Okay, let's cross off parentheses. No parentheses. Exponents? Yes. Big base. Three raised to the cute little two. Power of two, which is also known as squared, three squared. Isn't that a game? I don't know. Two square, four square, I'm thinking a four square. And it's square, not squared, but anyhow. Two up here, that means we need two copies of the three. And this is repeated, multiplication. So three times three equals nine. So three squared equals nine. <laughs> so you guys are wondering, like, uh, where? how did you even get three squared to begin with, Mr. Hoffman? It's right here. There it was, in case you were wondering, that's where that came from. Looks like, again, football plays. Right, football plays rule the world. So that's our first box. It's going to be a three squared, which is nine. Okay, let's uh, thin out the line, giving you the play-by-play -play commentary. If you could just the team that gets the football the most and runs it into the end zone the most and kicks it over through the field goal calls the most, that's the team that's going to win this game, Bill. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you're right there. I can hard to argue with that, Dan. Uh, let's see, nine times four, minus eight, twenty-seven divided by nine. Aha! I knew it. What did I tell you? They were going to try to trick us. See? Because if you look at PEMDAS, okay, we already got our exponents. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Cross that off. See? Multiplication and division. You're going to think, oh, we're going to multiply first, right? If what you're thinking of based on, it says my first, my dear, M, multiply first, right? Nope, 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 nope. It's a trick. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the man behind the curtain trying to trick you. So you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do nine times four, right? Because Nope. Just kidding. Not. Nah, don't do it. Don't fall for it. Okay. What you're going to do is 27 divided by nine because you go from left to right. And just so happens this time, division shows up first. Because if you're starting on the left side, if you don't know your left from right, you better learn it. This is the left side. This is the right side. You go this way. And if you're going this way, we hit division before we hit multiplication. That's one of the trickiest things about solving these problems. If you can catch on to that, then you're going to solve any problem. I guarantee it. Well, as long as you don't make a simple mistake like I made on the first problem. And yeah, but anyway, let's pretend like that never happened. Whew. I'll probably just edit that out anyway. That's what I usually do. So that way you guys don't see. I changed my mind. I don't want you to see my mistakes. All right, so what's 27 divided by 9? Hmm. I see 9 times something equals 27. You can use your little family facts. 9 times something, football play again, equals 27. What do I multiply 9 to get 27? Oh, that would be 3. So it's 3. That's our next box. But we still have some stuff down here to write down. We still have a times 4 and a minus 8. Okay, what comes next? Now we can multiply. Now we can do that multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. That's our next box. That's like I'm saying, Xbox. I know. You want to go play your games? Do this first, okay? This is kind of like a, this is more fun than Xbox, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure. That's our next next box. Then we still have to minus 8. Minus, minus 8, 12 minus 8 is, oh, I'm running out of room for my boxes, so I'm just going to put it right over here, last box, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, last, last box. Maybe that could be a new game console called Last Box. All right, let's see, behind the curtain, remove the curtain, please. What's behind curtain number one, Bob? 
Oh, you've got a brand new car. Just kidding. You got a brand new math problem. Okay, so first box was a nine, right? After that came a three, which is right here. Here's the three times four minus eight. See, they even give you this stuff, so you really, you know, you don't really have to think too much here. And then a 12, wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, I did something wrong. Oh, right here, three times four. Oh yeah, I'm just off. Okay, three times. Okay, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just putting. I'm just looking at things off kilter. The nine goes up. The three goes up. The twelve goes here. There we go. See, this twelves. This twelves, right? That's what's throwing me off. The twelve. The twelve goes here, and then the the four goes here. See, the nine went up here, and the three went in here. So I'm still the same order, just kind of off kilter of titch. It's not a line. It's not in alignment. So don't let it lie to you. Uh, did I say a four? Okay, fingers crossed. See, not so bad. You guys got this. Let's try the next level. Can I level up again? This can't. This is not any harder, is it? Well, I'm gonna cover it up because that's what we've been doing. We're gonna stay consistent here. Just one, one, two, three, four boxes, right? Okay, old Wizard of Oz. Just tap your slippers together three times and say there is no place like home. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide together. Not necessarily in that order. Add and subtract together. Not necessarily in that order. Oh. What's in the parentheses? Six plus four. Ooh, I like that number. That's a fun one for me. And anything that complements that equals ten is always fun, even hundreds. First box is a ten. But we still have that little two up here divided by five minus seven. Maybe I can keep them in alignment this time. So what comes next? Well, we did our parentheses. Exponents are next. 10 raised to the 2. That's a 10, a big 10 base. And my cute little exponent. Oh, it's so cute. Right up here is a 2. And that's saying, hey, uh, you need to have, I need to have two of you. I want to make two of you, please. 1, 2. The base twice. And these are always repeated multiplication. 10 times 10 is 100. So 10 squared or 10 raised to the second power is 100 so put a hundred down here see what we just did there you you see do you see what we did we took this 10 to the 2 and turned it into a hundred so what are we left with we're still left with divide by 5 minus 7 ah see what comes next is 100 divided by 5 right here so in other words, 5 times something, football plays, equals 100. 5 times something equals 100. I think I might go long division on this. I might go long, get it, go long, go long! Hail Mary! That's just a name they get for some, or the bomb. Go for the bomb pass, where they go way, way out there and they throw like a pass. So uh, if you're not a football person, I'm sorry, I can't help it. We just got, I'm not really, I used to be a football person. I'm not really a football person anymore. But I, I can't, I do remember. And it's, this is bringing back good old memories. Waxing a nostalgia, as they say. That just means like having good memories about things. Um, okay, so five goes into one. You can't go into two. Is two okay, five is 10. So what's 20? Five times 20 is 100. So this is 20. That's the next box. <laughs> the Xbox. We still have to minus seven. Don't forget about that. So, so far we got 10. Uh, we 10 to squared, right? Because we add, we added 6 plus 4 is 10. Then we got 100 from the that. Then we got 20. Now we just do 20. Well, that's a nasty 2, isn't it? 20 minus 7 is 
13. And that's my final answer. Plug them in. Plug them in, plug them in. And this is only if you want to go up past 80. I don't know why I'm showing you this. You guys don't need to do that, do you? Okay, so this would be 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 squared is 100. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And then 20 minus 7 is 13. Okay, fingers crossed. Whew. Okay, you guys are on your own. I've spent 20 minutes making this video. That's insane. But I bet you'll spend longer than that doing this. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you'll be faster than... Can you do your IXL in less than 20 minutes? Plus, you could watch this on double speed if you haven't done so already. You could, like, fast forward it. Like, watch it in twice the speed. I go, I'll talk a little fast video. But if you want to slow it down in certain places, you do. And you pause and have a good time. And hallelujah. Amen. Don't turn into a pumpkin.